Ludwig Hermann Karl Hahn was born on January 23, 1908, in Itzen, in Hanover, within the German Empire. He was the son of a prosperous farmer, and attended the Volksschule as a youth before enrolling at the Luneburg Real Gymnasium, graduating in 1927, aged 19. Han studied financial law at the University of Göttingen where he became a member of the National Socialist German Students League. In February 1930 he joined both the Nazi Party and the Schirmet Eilan, or the SA, where he would rise to the rank of corporal. After successfully defending his dissertation before the Faculty of Law at the University of Jena, in Thuringia, in central Germany, he obtained his doctorate of jurisprudence in July 1932. Han joined the Schutzstaffel, or SS in April 1933, and was assigned to the 17th SS Standarte, in Luneburg before later transferring to the 26th SS Standarte in Hamburg. After attending the Nazi Party's State School for Leadership and Politics, he joined the Sicherheitsdienst, or SD, in May 1934 and was attached to the SS Regional Headquarters in Weimar as a member of the Stabswacker. Han qualified as a lawyer after completing his legal clerkship in April 1935 and became a member of the National Socialist Association of Legal Professionals. That same year he married Charlotte Steinhoff, sister of the Luftwaffe fighter pilot Johann Steinhoff, who later served as a senior general with the West German Air Force and was also chairman of the NATO Military Committee from 1971 to 1974. Ludwig and Charlotte would have four children. Han began his career with the Nazi security services in June 1935 when he was employed as a consultant by the SD Hauptamt in Berlin. The following year he served as deputy director of the Gestapo Bureau in Hanover, before returning to Berlin in November 1936 to work as a legal counselor at the Gestapo headquarters. He received military training with the Wehrmacht in Brandenburg and was subsequently reassigned to Weimar as director of the city's Gestapo branch, and deputy chief of the security police, a position he'd hold from April 1937 to August 1939. Han was promoted to the rank of SS Schirmbannführer in September 1938, during the build-up to World War II, he was transferred to Vienna, Austria in preparation for the invasion of Poland. He was assigned to Einsatzgruppe 1 under the command of Brigade Führer Bruno Streckenbach, and was given command of the subunit of Einsatzkommando 1I. During the invasion of Poland in September 1939, Han and his unit were attached to the German 14th Army in the territories of Silesia and Malopolska. Han and his Einsatzkommando took part in the arrests and executions carried out as part of intelligence action the Nazi extermination campaign targeting the Polish intellectuals. Between September and November 1939, Han and Einsatzgruppe 1 were involved in the mass murders of Polish public officials, activists, intellectuals and army officers in the cities of Katowice, Sanak and Podolsi. They also played a leading role in the expulsion of the Jewish population from the town of Dynow and managed their subsequent deportation to Soviet-occupied Eastern Poland. Beginning in January 1940, he took over as commander of the Sikorheitspolizei and Sikorheitsdienst in the occupied Polish city of Krakow. Here he would oversee Sonderaktion Krakow an SS operation which involved the deportation of hundreds of professors and other academics from Yejil Union University to various concentration camps in Germany. He also served as chief of the Police Emergency Court at Montelupic Prison. In this role Han was instrumental in the implementation of the German AB action in Poland. In August 1940, Han was transferred to Bratislava, in Slovakia, where he was appointed special representative of the Reichsfuhrer SS, Hahn served as SS leader Heinrich Himmler's personal emissary to the Nazi-allied government of the Slovak Republic, led by Joseph Tiso. From April to June 1941, he was stationed in Athens, in Greece, where he commanded Einsatzgruppe Greek Enland, during the Balkan campaign. Following the German victory, 
he was promoted to the rank of SS Obischirmbannführer, or Lieutenant Colonel, and returned to his diplomatic post in Slovakia. In August 1941, Han returned to Poland and was appointed commander of the Sikorheitspolizei and Sikorheitsdienst for the city of Warsaw. During his tenure he was directly involved in the implementation of the Holocaust in Poland, while serving under SS and police leader Ferdinand von Samern Frankenegg in the summer of 1942, Han collaborated with Brigada Führer Odilo, Globochnik and other personnel associated with Operation Reinhard to carry out the destruction and liquidation of the Warsaw Ghetto. Nearly 265,000 Jews were murdered in the operation either in mass executions conducted by the SS or after being deported to Trlinku extermination camp. As a deputy officer to SS and police leader Jürgen Stroop, Han also had a leading role in the bloody suppression of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising in April and May 1943. The brutal pacification of the ghetto by the SS resulted in the deaths of 13,000 Jews either killed in the fighting or executed. He later orchestrated the deportation of another 56,000 Jews from Warsaw to Treblinka in the aftermath of the rebellion. In April 1944, he was promoted to the rank of SS Standartenführer, and received the further title of Oberst der Polizei. During the 1944 Warsaw Uprising by the Polish Home Army, Han fought with the Waffen SS leading a battalion of 700 men in the southern districts of the city and later in the downtown area. He also personally commanded the defense of Warsaw's heavily fortified government district. Following their capitulation of the uprising, acting on instructions from Himmler, Han ordered the mass execution of Polish civilians in retaliation for the rebellion. Between August and September 1944, an estimated 5 to 10,000 men, women and children were shot by the Gestapo. For this, he was awarded the Iron Cross, first class for his service in the uprising. In November 1944, he departed Warsaw and returned to Germany. He was stationed in the town of Kochum, in western Germany, and was appointed commander of Einsatzgruppe L which was attached to the German 6th Panzer Army during the Battle of the Bulge. After the failure of the Ardennes Offensive, he was transferred to Army Group Vistula on the Eastern Front to serve as a delegate for the Sikorheitspolizei and Sikorheits, Dienst on the General Staff of SS Obergruppenführer Karl Oberg during the Vistuloder Offensive. In February 1945, he was reassigned to the city of Dresden where he briefly served as Chief of Staff to SS Gruppenführer Ludolf von Alvinsleben, the higher SS and police leader for the LB. Han was next appointed commander of the Sikorheitspolizei and Sikorheitsdienst for the city of Wiesbaden in March 1945. He was quickly displaced from this position after the city fell to the Allies and instead took over as commander of the Sikorheitspolizei and Sikorheitsdienst for Gore Westphalia North. He was also tasked with overseeing the security detail for Gauleiter Alfred Meyer. During the final weeks of the war he and his staff fled to Hesse's Old Endorf to escape the Allied advance, he was taken prisoner by the British Army on Thursday, April 12, 1945, but escaped from custody shortly afterward. Ludwig Hahn remained in Germany after 1945 and went into hiding in Bad Eilson, in the British Occupation Zone, working as a labourer and farmhand. He later moved to Wuppertal where he worked as a salesman with a textile company called Schkarpenak and Taschenmaker. He resumed using his real name in 1949. At a denazification hearing in 1950, Han's wife Charlotte falsely told the British authorities that he'd been taken prisoner by the Soviets, which led the British Army to end its war crimes investigation. Afterwards, he would go on to pursue a career as an insurance broker in West Germany. In 1951, his father-in-law arranged for him to take a position as deputy director for organizational matters with the Hanover branch of the company Karlsruhe Lebens Versicher on AG. He rose to the position of branch manager in 1955. 
he relocated to Hamburg with his in 1958 where he had been hired as head of the life insurance division of Hans Rudolf Schmidt and COGmbH. The family settled in a comfortable home in the suburb of Bonningstedt. Han's identity was exposed by journalists in 1960, following an inquiry by the Central Office of the State Justice Administrations for the investigation of national socialist crimes. Han was arrested by the West German Federal Police for his suspected involvement in the destruction of the Warsaw Ghetto. He was held by the West German authorities for a year, but no charges were brought and he was released in 1961. Following his release, he took a position with the Hamburg branch of Investors Overseas Service before he retired in 1967. He was again arrested by West German police in 1965 and again in 1966, but was only briefly held and never charged with a crime. It wasn't until May 1972 that Han was charged with war crimes by the Higher Regional Court of Hamburg. He was found guilty in connection with wartime atrocities committed at the Paviak prison in Warsaw. He was sentenced to 12 years in prison in June 1973 but petitioned the court for an appeal of the verdict. Following a two-year review of the trial and the evidence, the appeal was rejected by the West German courts and he began his sentence in March 1975. During the appeal process, he was also on trial in a, another West German court. This case regarded his role in the deportation of an estimated 230,000 Jews from the Warsaw Ghetto to Treblinka. The proceedings opened in October 1974 and he was found guilty at trial. On July 4, 1975, Han was given another sentence, this one was life imprisonment. In 1983, he was suffering from cancer, and was granted an early release from prison in September 1983. He died in Amersbeck, in northern Germany on November 10, 1986. Ludwig